We were working on a video today to show all of you one of the coolest and exciting features that surprised us about the Quest Pro. But in testing, I found something that was super annoying. Look at my Quest Pro sitting here all beautifully sleeping and charging. It's got its blinders on, and when it goes on, it makes a nice sound. Now, some of you wanted that full immersion cover, 50 bucks, gets delivered in December. So you see these metal points here, that's what these contact when this goes down to charge. Snap this on here. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, you can't charge it with this on. It's got too much right here, it's got too much girth, density, whatever the heck you want to call it, to where this won't go down and charge with it. How hard would that have been? Like, all they would have had to do was have this be a little lower, have the foresight to make it like that, and this would work with this. And some, some people would be like, oh, it's magnetic, you can just take it off every single time. Yeah, but this is $1,500. I could buy a car with that much money. Why should I have to have another 50 bucks paid for this? and it's not gonna work with the charging dock that comes with it. Okay, maybe someone will say, well, the charging dock comes with the USB-C cable, so you can just plug it in here every time. Again, $1,500, you may not wanna risk scratching this thing up all the time, trying to shove your cable in there, but if you did go that route, these wouldn't be on a charger. And with the battery life that they're claiming with these, you'd have to charge these at least every few sessions. And some of you might be coming into this cold and being like, ha, ah, I think you're getting a little overly annoyed about this, but here's the thing. You have the MetaQuest, which they made these Logitech partnered headphones, speakers, whatever you want to call them. You can't use these with the Meta partnered anchor charging dock because this thing needs to stay plugged in and it wouldn't be able to sit in that anchor charging dock that we showed you before and go in there. And then you could say, well, that's one accessory. Oculus carrying case, official carrying case, Logitech speakers. No go, not gonna work. Even if you had the stock strap, they're just too wide. The Meta official battery strap plugged into the side. And if you wanted to use the Meta link cable, you had to unplug that and plug the link cable inside. They didn't make it so that it could pass through the back. The Meta link cable, if being used with your Logitech Chorus headphones, will not let you have audio out of these. So if you wanna play some PC VR with some Logitech Chorus headphones, not gonna work. Or even something as simple as this $50 light blocker you gotta buy from them, which is kind of expensive to start with, and now you're gonna have to figure out a whole nother charging solution with it. That's, in my mind, a big oversight. So what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts out there. I've, we've had our runarounds before, like when the, the meta straps were snapping. I think we were actually one of the first and even the only channels to report on that. And instead of finding a true solution, they guaranteed the straps for two years. They'd replace as many of them as you could break. And some people have broken four of them now and gotten them all replaced all along. So at least they solved it. But something like this, like they got a couple months till they start shipping, I guess. So maybe they'll add something that bumps up here or maybe they'll change the design on it. I don't know, but I'm annoyed. Charging. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for coming out and being here with me today, even when I'm annoyed and ranting. And I will see you in another reality.